Hello, this is James over at Realty Candy. I want to show you a new product we've been building. It's these Pure IDX websites. They're super simple to set up, and this is a demo to show you how to set it up. My goal is to get this set up pretty quickly, so I'm going to move through a lot of material pretty fast, um, and I'll fill in some information on a blog post or something about where to get everything. Um, basically, I have some steps here that, that I need to do, and I've set up you know, some notes for myself, and this is, this is what we're going to work on today. So the first thing you do is you go to idxaddons.com, then go to the Pure IDX page over on the side, and you'll be, this may change a little bit with time because this is our first iteration, but basically it's the same setup. Yours will say Pure IDX right in here. Then you just push Activate. Just like that, your site setup. These are super fast. They're cloud-based. Um, this, the primary domain, is going to be something like realtycandy.idx.pureidx.com. In this example we have right now, it looks like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and change this whole site. So we're going to come here to this. So the website title, we're going to start out with that. This is a, going to be a demo website about Miami Beach. So, Miami Beach condos is what we're going to call this. Um, and you can see as I move from field to field, it automatically saves this information for me. But it's not pushing it out to the website. So let me just show you how this works. Um, the description... Miami Beach condos and homes for sale. Find all Miami Beach real estate. So you can go on and put something that's that's really good here. Let me just show you real quick. You can see this is the tab that was there. So when I push Submit Changes, just right now, you can see that this tab has changed to Miami Beach Condos. That's how fast the site pushes the changes. So that's, that's done. So now to get the, the quick search script, which is this part of the page, what I'm going to do is go here to Apps and go to the Omni Search Generator. This is a default. I can disable fields here if I want. If I want to put the buy and sell tabs, I can put them in right here and it adds this PTS equals tabs. If I want to make the property type as a drop down, I can do that. If I want it to open in a new tab, I can do that. And you can see every time I click something, it changes this code. So I actually don't want any of those things. So I'm just going to copy this code or I could have just copied that. And now I go back to uh, the Pure IDX page, and I'm just going to copy whatever's here and remove it. The fave icon is this little icon up in the top. Um, I guess I actually didn't get a copy of that, but um, what we'll do is we'll skip over. You can put your icon there if you want to put something different. We're going to leave that one in there. This is coming from imager.com. And uh, imager.com is just kind of like a YouTube for images. You can just load an image up in here and it will allow you to get a free account and it'll allow you to stick a picture up here on this page and then you can get the link to it. And uh, put that on your website. So the logo is pulling from here. I actually have another logo on my computer and we're going to load it into Cloudinary. So this is what we recommend is that you make an account at Cloudinary. They give you a free account and then we have an opportunity to drag and drop some assets here. So I already know on my computer. Okay, so when I get in here I have some images that I put in here. And uh, here's the logo, and I have some text. We're going to refer back to this. So all I do is I drag and drop that logo right here. 
it's uploaded. Here it is. If I want to link to it, which I do, I'll put it right here. It's going to be the same logo, but now we're going to be pulling it uh, from Cloudinary. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks like it looks the same to me. So I, I'm going to change these. Um, we're going to change the, this to be home. And then the link for it will change to be this. Um, our team, I'm going to leave that. I'll just put um, our agents. And then we're putting, hooking it to this IDX broker roster page. And then the search. We can hook it up to any of the pages on our uh, IDX broker back end. So if I want to select a page here, let's see what our roster looks like on this account. This is a demo account. So it might be a little bit messy here, but let's just see what it looks like. Well, it looks like we have a few agents. Maybe I'll just use this uh, as an example. So one of the things I'm going to need to do is actually go in and update the wrapper so that this all matches my website. But we'll do that here in a few minutes. So let's get back over here to our page. We'll get our uh, roster. And then we're also going to want to put in our map search. I'll copy that link. And maybe here just to add a little variety to things, I'm going to put a map search. And then I'm going to put a buyer's page. So let's go create that page while we're here and save link. You can see I've got a handful here. So I'm going to show, um, I'm going to make a saved search based on this. So I'm going to put, this demo account only has single family homes. So normally I would put, um, I would put condos, since this we're building a website about condos, but just for this example, we'll put it here. Uh, we want homes with three bedrooms. I can put some information in here. Results per page. This isn't important because I'm actually probably going to block some of this out with some, some uh, CSS code. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call this buyers. 2020, and I can write in here, okay, or whatever else I want to put in here. Then I'm going to come to this subheader. So I'm going to get um, some content I actually want to just replicate the content that was on this page. So don't tell anybody. Actually, I'm going to grab it from the top here. I'm just going to copy and paste this content. You don't really want to copy paste too much without reworking it. But in this case, um, you know, I would need to go back through here and edit this a little bit for buying a Miami Beach home. How does that sound? I can actually uh, um, let's push save and manage links so it closes us. And then let's search for the word buyer here. And there's the link. I'm going to copy that link location. Okay, and then I'm actually going to add one more 
So this is limited to four pages um, on the free version. So I could actually make another page if I wanted to and maybe replace the our agents page. We'll come back to that later, see how far we get with this. So let's submit some changes here. And you can see there's the saving button. That means it's shooting it over to the website. When I reload this now, oops. When I reload this, you can see now all these are going. Here's our buyers page. And it should so show some properties down here at the bottom. So this is what we're looking for. Um, we've got that done. So now let's look at the hero image and the text. And um, I believe that I made a note about that. So for the hero images, actually all these images, we're just going to get them from Unsplash. So I'm going to go to Unsplash, and I'm just going to, if you just type in the word homes right here, it gives you some choices. I want, these are huge images, by the way, but I want something that's about this size. So I want it to be rectangular here. Probably, I may want something a little bit brighter. This is pretty bright. This one's actually got a little darkness to it, but let's just take a look here. Ah, this looks good. We're going to download it for free. These are free images, so uh, I'm going to open it with preview. And so here it is on my computer. I'm actually going to go here and adjust the size. This thing's a monster. Look how big it is, 556. Um, actually, before I do that, I may want to just edit the way this sits. I don't want that huge green thing on my website very much. I don't mind a little bit of it. But I probably do want to get some of that water. So maybe I want to cut the sky out of here a little bit. I don't know, maybe something like that. Now I'm going to crop that on my computer. And then I'm going to resize it. Um, I'm going to make it 1600 pixels across. This, this really makes a huge dent in this. And then I'm going to rename it. So instead of it being something like this for some Google juice, I want it to be called something like Miami Beach Condos for sale. Okay, so now, um, now we have that. I'm actually going to load that into Cloudinary also. So here's the image in my downloads. So again, I'll just pop it over here into uh, Cloudinary. And now I can get this. Again, I'm just going to grab the link to it. So that's the hero image which is uh, this, this big image. And so I'm going to put um, Miami Beach Condo Experts. Let's just save these changes and see kind of what our website looks like now. Let's reload this. And this is where it is. I can do some other things on that image if I want to change it. It's actually probably best for me to have resized it exactly how I wanted it, but this is going to work for our, for our demo. I'll probably need to put a little darkness or change that color or something like that so that stands out a little bit better. But The next part is that we need to make the, the widgets that are going to show up on the page right here. So what we've done is um, Again, back, going back to IDX Broker, you'll just break these down into price um, into price ranges. So the first one, let me just see how we have it set up. The first one's two, then one, then two, then one. So there's four of these. 
And the ones that I want them, these at the top, let's we're going to put in the nicest uh, images. So I'm going to put a slideshow. Um, we're going to do a custom search again. Um, let's search homes, which is this one. You know, normally I would also put condos and townhomes, but I don't think there are any in this example. So um, maybe here I'm going to do break these out by 600,000 to 800. I'm only going to be showing one, so maybe I'll just do 700 to 800. And I want to make sure it has an image, so that's that's the thing. And then and then on the widget options, let's call this Miami Beach. Um, 700 to 800 and I'm going to sort it by newest listings and I'm only going to put one column and I only want one listing so that's all it's going to do okay so let's preview that widget make sure it works there it is that's the newest listing on this uh, data feed that we have so I'm going to copy that code snippet and I'm going to pop it right in there. Um, so now let's create another widget. So that was 700 to 800. I'm just going to write these down so I don't forget. So then the next one is going to be the same thing. Oh, actually, I'll show you a secret. You can make them all like that one by one. Another way to do it, which is probably what I'm going to do right here, is um, There's an option to duplicate the widget. So I'm just going to call this Miami Beach um, 600 to 700. And then I'm going to go in here and let's edit that. Should be really easy. So I'm basically just going to change this from 600 to 700. Since that other one was 7,500, 7, that I might not need to do that. In a normal case, I'd probably put in something like this, just so that they don't overlap. Um, we'll take whatever that has. You know, we have the additional feature options. Save that criteria. And then I'm going to come here to Widget Options, and I'm going to make this two columns and two listings. Okay, so now that one's been saved. And all I need now is the widget code for it. So let's uh, save that, and let's go back over here to Widgets, Website, Widgets. Okay, let's uh, preview this. Okay, so it's showing these two. This is actually the same picture on the, that you're going to see on the other one. But let's grab the widget code. Okay, and so now we know the next one is going to be one of these, which is a single. So let's duplicate that again. Again, I'm going to call that Miami Beach. Um, so this one's going to be 500. Let's sort of space these out a little bit. Let's do 400 to, to 600. And then I'm just going to show one property like I did on that top one. So I know that top one's a. So this is going to be 400. And we said 600, but remember our little secret here 59999. Okay. And then you can. So 
let's uh, let's go back to our widgets list, and then the bottom one is going to be like this. It has two, and so we're going to call this one Miami Beach uh, 200 to 400. And again, we're going to just edit the code here. From 200 to 400, which is this 399. And that should work. So let's go back to the widgets. I can actually just grab these code snippets right here. Maybe that's just the easiest thing. So, back to our dashboard. They should all be basically in numerical order here. And that one's, you can see, 44089, so it's going to be the same code. So I'm going to grab that. And we're going to be making a new tool called Speedy IDX Widgets, which makes these things load really fast and optimizes the images. Um, We'll make a new video that shows how to get those links. For right now, these work great, and they'll get your site set up. So, um, that's that should be done. Let's submit those changes, and let's come back and load our page. And you can, again, just see how fast everything loads. You know, so this property shows up, you know, on every single one of those, which is kind of boring, but we have it flagged as different properties, right? Because it's the demo account. So in theory, since they're showing the newest ones, and we see this with real client sites, every time you look at it, it'll actually load different properties. So let me just show you an example. Let's see what this site looks like just while we're doing this. It is late at, in the day in Atlanta, but if you look at this page right now in the video, and then come back and look at A Choice Atlanta even later today, these are all, all going to be updated and so are these. So back to the ranch. The next thing we need to do is pick the cities that we're going to do and these, these are the ones over here on the side. So in our case we're going to put um, let's put, let me see what these look like here. So you can see this is capitalized, this isn't, that doesn't look very good. So let's put Miami Beach listings um, we'll put Miami, and I'm going to hope that there's some Fort Lauderdale listings on this example, on this demo account, but and I'm going to show you how to make these widgets too. These are pretty easy. Again, you go back here to the widgets code, and I'm going to put Again, a showcase widget, properties, uh, custom search, Just pick your search page. You probably use the basic search. In this case, it's called search homes. And uh, so here we go, Miami Beach. We're going to put here, and you know maybe we want to show all these price ranges together. Again, we want to make sure it has an image. That's the most important thing. And... Uh, so I'm going to call this Miami Beach Sidebar 1, basically. And I just want to show the newest listings. Um, I think this is one column. And what do we have here? I think they're showing three listings each. So we come over here and put three listings. Build the widget. There's the code. Let's just save that. Let's see what happens when we load the page. So there they are. Um, and then we're going to do the one for Miami. So I already know this is going to work. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to just duplicate this widget. And I'm going to call it Miami Beach Sidebar 2. And let's go edit this. I think we already looked over there. We Instead of using Miami Beach, we just want to use Miami. Everything else should stay the same. And 
let's go back. There's that. And so then let's uh, duplicate that. Miami Beach sidebar three. And let's edit that. Let's see if there's any listings in Fort Lauderdale. We can click the view results and it shows, yep, looks like there's a bunch of them in Fort Lauderdale. So we'll take that and that's done. So now we just go back to our widgets page and right here I just need that code snippet again, view the code. And then here I want, let's close that, I need the code snippet for this. Okay, so save those changes, let's just check our page here. So these are all in Miami Beach City, these are all in Miami, see the same house showing up on all of these listings. And these are the Fort Lauderdale listings. So that's done. So now what we want to do is set these uh, popular searches up. So um, let's just call it, um, I mean, it gets kind of old after a while if you just keep putting the same stuff, but it is what it is. Miami Beach is what we're going to put here. Um, we'll put Miami Real Estate, and we'll call this one. Fort Lauderdale. And you can see these are actually using saved searches. So um, we're going to come back over here to IDX Broker page and we're going to go to the saved links. We have that. Let's create a new link. Again, we're going to search. We're gonna, yours will stop basic search and we'll just hit next step. And so the first one is again our Miami Beach uh, city. And we'll show uh, basically any property here. What we want to do is probably I'm going to show, I like showing about 25 results per page. And you can sort it by any way you want. You know, I may put newest listings here to show the, you know, hot listings in that area or something like that. It's, Save that. So I'm going to call this um, Miami Beach Saved Link 1, which isn't a very good name. And you could write a meta description here. You know, homes in Miami Beach, you know, blah, 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 whatever you're going to put here. You can also put some information here in the subheader. Um, we specialize in Miami Beach real estate. And add some more information. You can actually add pictures here if you want to insert an image. For now, that's all we're going to do with this. So let's go back here and instead of searching by buyer, let's put Miami Beach. Oh, that didn't work. Let's just put the word beach. I thought I put that in the... Okay, there it is. Miami Beach saved link. So now I'm just, again, you can duplicate these. And I'm going to change this one to be the saved link number two. Create a duplicate. Let's duplicate that. We'll just call that saved link three. Normally you put something like Fort Lauderdale and put names that you'll be able to, you know, remember these all say Miami Beach and we're not even going to show Miami Beach. So here, um, you know, Miami Homes for Sale might be an appropriate name. I'm going to change that. Homes in Miami. That's what the name of the this so I'm gonna put uh, Fort 
We'll show you where that shows up. We specialize in Miami real estate. So we'll save that. Then I'm actually going to come back here on the search criteria. Instead of it being Miami Beach, I want to save the same things, but I just want it to be Miami. Okay, so that's pretty much set up. Let's go back to design, website, save links. Okay, so we're just. Okay, so the Miami Beach. Save link to somehow I guess I moved it somewhere so I, I probably edited something I shouldn't have oh probably on the description is where I messed up irregardless we're gonna move forward so with this page title is you know we I would I'm gonna re change this anyway um, because we don't want that so that's got to be Fort Lauderdale. That's not a very good name for a page. Um, so maybe I'll just put something like that. Like we did on the other one, which is why we can't find it anymore. So I'm going to put here if I push a space, it automatically Um, puts in that dash there. I leave that like that. And we have those changes. So now let's go back over here to our saved links. Oh, I forgot something. Um, forgot to switch it so it's showing Fort Lauderdale properties. So let's update that. Okay, now I'm going to go back, go back. Go back to the manage saved links. So you can see that those are both gone. So let's see if I put Miami, there's Miami homes for sale. Let me copy this. Copy the link. Looks like I didn't grab that first one. Link location, Miami Beach, and then the other one we called it. Uh, let's close that. There's the Fort Lauderdale one. Okay, so then that's saved. Let's just submit that and we're going to check it out. Let's reload this page. And right here you can see if I click on these, there's the Miami Beach real estate, the newest properties in Miami Beach. It even shows that on the header here, whatever content I want to put there. There's the Miami one, showing properties in Miami. And the Fort Lauderdale one, showing properties in Fort Lauderdale with the content at the top of the page. So, doing good. Let's keep moving on here. So, the bottom text section is this piece right here. So, this is probably um, Okay, so I've got some notes on this. I actually have some content um, that I made for this. Let's see.
Oh, here's the info box. Let's open this up. Didn't write anything too fancy there, obviously. So this will replace this content. Um, let's see what we have here. Luxury Residence Club, so Something like that. Again, we're going to need to get another image. So let's look at our uh, notes. The info box looks like I wanted to get something from the one that said Realtor. So let's see if any of these just quickly look like something in Miami Beach that I would have thought of. That's pretty. This looks like the same house. Okay, let's get this one because... Just because. So you can download it here. We're going to open it with Preview again. And let's rename it. that. And I don't know how Miami Beach-ish that looks right there, but that image on that page is not very big, so I'm actually going to take this down to about 1200 pixels. Okay, and then I'm going to Go to cloud and area again, and there's this image. Again, I'm going to just pop it up here. And there's the link. Okay, so you can set these buttons about this area and view all listings. Hmm, so I might put something like contact us today and I will send that over to the IDX broker contact. View all listings. I mean, we could do that, but I'm going to put here um, and I might put something like this Miami Beach, home, find out how. Oh, how much is your Miami Beach home worth? Okay, that looks a little bit better. So again, going back here to these pages, there's a home valuation. So I'm going to just switch that to be here. And then this, we should probably move this down into the footer, but this is just a little footer image, so we'll leave that here. Um, so there's a logo down in the footer area that can be this right here. It could be something different. 
In this case, I'm actually going to use the same one that I have at the top. So let's see here. It should be header logo. And that should be also be moved down to the footer menu, so we can put that in there. With Facebook, um, we'll just do something like this. Let's say our business is, oh, let's call it Realty Candy. We'll just do that. It's easy. And, uh, you know, for YouTube, we have that. The footer title. Right here it says quick, so I'll just probably put contact us. Okay. On the mobile, there's three buttons that show at the bottom of the page. I don't know if this is going to actually show them or not, but there they are. There's the call, the message, and the tour button, and you can link these to a phone number. This is linked to a phone number. This is linked to send a text message. This is linked to the contact page. You can link them to whatever you want. So we're just going to change the contact page to be this one for this account. And then on the footer menu, oh, we will put um, Linda Sharp. And of course, she's in Miami Beach. And say Linda Sharp at mail.com. This is her phone number. If you have a Google Analytics code, you can put it in here. And then down here we'll put Miami Beach condos. And this is the brokerage. And we're approved uh, by the State Board of Realtors. You know what I'm actually thinking down here where it says, um, let's submit these changes and see what the site looks like. You can see it usually takes a few seconds to shoot all those changes here. By the time I come back over and reload the page, they're typically done. So this got a little wonky here. So I may actually pull one of these out. There's Linda's information. This is the information we put in here. If I want to put in a picture, I also coincidentally have a picture of an agent for the footer. So it kind of depends on what I think um, she looks like. If she looks nice and friendly, I'll probably get this. If she's Jennifer Lopez, I might get this. Uh, Linda Sharp probably actually looks more like this. Let's try to resize that again. And we'll just put uh, Linda Sharp Realtor. Okay, let's save that. Again, we're going to take that over to our uh, Cloudinary. So we're going to upload that. This just makes our images all load really fast. And I'm going to grab that link. And back here on the footer logo, I'm actually going to replace that. Oh, here's, and you can add other social networks using this HTML code. That's where I have that LinkedIn one. I'm actually just going to zap that. And um, 
These could use some more spacing and some more information to get this all set up. Let's see, we're going to, this was some example code that was here. I have um, a code snippet that I wanted to do on this form. Let's see, we're going to submit the changes. Our page is done. Um, okay, so her picture didn't really turn out that well, so maybe I should have put a headshot down there, and maybe I can put it over here. Let's see if I put her image over there. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to write a little HTML code here. So BR gets you a new line, and then I'm going to put I can kind of stretch this out so I can see what I got here. Source equals quote that, and that will sh put in a, the image over here on this side of the page. Let's see what that looks like. And you know, that, that doesn't look that great because then it leaves us huge space down here. You know, this probably got too long, that might need some adjustment. Um, you know, some of these things could probably use a little bit of a little bit of work. Let's go back. I'm going to pull that uh, image out because I don't like the way that turned out. Um, one of the things I want to do is make this bigger so I can push inspect element. This might be a, a little technical for some folks, but here's the uh, the form, and uh, you can come through here and look at all this code. I already got a little couple code snippets that I want to put in there, so that's the form to make it bigger, and you can see like here, if I just switch this, if I just add another, where is this? If I just switch this to height and put 40 px, you can see it makes it taller. So that's one of the things that I'm going to do. This doesn't make it permanent. This is just for our uh, example that we're looking at. And I'm also changing the font size on that. So I'm going to throw those two items in there. And then this, I do need to change this because this is just too uh, pale, basically. Let's see what... You know, I can make that... You know, maybe get a green tone or whatever color I want to get if, this, if there's, you know, quite a bit of blue in the site. Uh, that's not going to work. So we're just going to leave it like that. Maybe what I'll do is put a background on it. Background color. Okay, let's see if we can add some padding. Just to give it a little space around there. So I'm going to need to add that code. I'm just going to copy paste that. And I'm going to pop it right in here. I think the color's already set, so I'm going to pull that out. Okay, when we reload the page, there's all our changes. The site is basically done. The only thing is, is that the search uh, stuff doesn't look good. So we need to set the IDX Broker Wrapper. And this is the last thing we're going to do. This is makes all these pages get their styling rules from a certain place. So we want it to be there. This may have some... Uh, some other rules in here from some other project we were working on, which it does. So let's remove all those. 
I'll save that so it uses the dynamic one, the default one. And our saved links, you can see some of these old saved links uh, have something else, but I think we're good with that. So now, um, let's reload this page. Now it's styled to match our website. When we go to our agents, that roster page now keeps these menus. There's the buyers page. That's all it takes to get these pages set up. Now when we look at this page, it's updating and it brings in all our rules, all our information from our website. So that's how all that you need to set this up. Um, these sites are free. They have a built-in um, they have a built-in uh, SSL certificate for you. You can hook it up to any domain that you want. So if you have Miami Beach condos, you can set that in here and use that as your primary domain. And they're free. One other thing is if you decide you want to leave, you don't want to work with Realty Candy anymore, you can actually download a backup of the site and I'll show you in another video how to upload that into your new website and they're super easy and now you take your site with you so you own the website. That's how easy it is to set up Pure IDX at Realty Candy.